my last reel on vitamin D being a hormone blew up. Nearly 2.5 lakh people watched it in a single day. But here is what most of you missed. No, it wasn't that accidental filter, but it's the fact about this sunshine hormone, which is not pretty. Vitamin D isn't water soluble like B complex or C. It's fat soluble. That means your body stores it. So when people take 60,000 international units weekly for months without testing, the levels climb dangerously. Excess vitamin D raises calcium absorption beyond what your kidneys can handle. That calcium starts depositing in arteries, heart valves and kidneys causing hypercalcemia. Symptoms, nausea, muscle weakness, kidney stones, even cardiac arrhythmias. Scientific data from the Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology 2023 and JAMA Internal Medicine 2019 show that high dose vitamin D supplementation more than 4,000 international units per day long term offers no extra benefits and increases the risk of falls and fractures. So always check serum 25 hydroxy vitamin D and calcium levels before starting or continuing high doses. Typical safe maintenance dose between 1000 to 2000 international units per day with magnesium and K2. More isn't better. It's biochemistry gone rogue, always under medical supervision. Now, if my last reel taught you that vitamin D is a hormone, let this one remind you that even hormones have limits. Follow Dr. Anshuman Kaushal for science-based health truths because guessing doses isn't healthcare. It's gambling with your calcium. This time, see you without any filter. Thank you.